Did you know that eosinophilic esophagitis is a condition that is linked to inflammation and gut health? Let's look into why this is and what this means for you. First off, what is eosinophilic esophagitis again? Eosinophilic esophagitis, also known as EOE, is characterized by a buildup of eosinophils, a type of white blood cell, in the lining of the esophagus. This buildup can cause inflammation and damage to the esophagus, leading to other symptoms such as difficulty swallowing, chest pain, and food getting stuck in your throat. Let's start by talking about its connection to inflammation. Inflammation is the root cause of a myriad of conditions, including EOE. Eosinophilic esophagitis is a chronic inflammatory disorder that is triggered by a food antigen, also known as like allergies. People with EOE also appear to have damaged epithelial barrier function. Epithelial. Okay, 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 that sounds super sciencey. What does that mean? What that means is a person with EOE has a damaged intestinal wall, which can cause issues in the absorption of nutrients and in the prevention of bad bacteria coming through. An analogy I often use is comparing the epithelium to a window screen. A window screen allows fresh air to enter your house, but prevents bugs and dust from entering as well. An impaired window with holes will allow bugs and dust to enter the house. This same scenario happens when your epithelium barrier function is impaired. Partially digested food begins to enter into the bloodstream, which triggers an immune response. Chronic inflammation is a hallmark of EOE, as this condition can persist for years without you even knowing it. So therefore, managing chronic inflammation is key to healing EOE. One step that can be super beneficial for all people with EOE is following an elimination diet to really help you identify what your trigger foods are and to even just give your body a break from all of these inflammatory foods. Eating an anti-inflammatory diet full of whole foods, fiber, healthy fats, quality proteins can be a game changer for people struggling with EOE. Feel free to check out my ebook bundle to learn more about how you can sustainably follow these lifestyle techniques and modifications. It is so important to manage chronic inflammation in EOE in order to prevent long-term damage and to also improve your quality of life. Now for gut health. Although EOE is a condition that is primarily impacting the esophagus, there is strong evidence to suggest that EOE is connected to gut health. Studies have shown that people with EOE often have imbalances in their gut microbiome, which is the community of microorganisms that live in the gut. These imbalances can lead to dysregulation of the immune system, which may contribute to the development of EOE. In addition, some researchers believe that EOE may actually be part of a larger group of conditions called eosinophilic gastrointestinal disorders, which also include eosinophilic gastritis and eosinophilic colitis. These conditions are characterized by the appearance of eosinophils in the gastrointestinal tract. So EOE may show up in the esophagus, but its root cause occurs in the gut. A modern lifestyle filled with processed foods and sugars is negatively affecting the bacterial composition of our gut microbiome. The gut microbiome plays an essential role in food absorption, as well as nutrient and energy extraction. Even more important, around 70 to 80% of our immune system exists in the gut microbiome. When it comes down to it, arguably the state of your gut is the most important part of quality health. Given the potential link between EOE and gut health, some healthcare providers may recommend interventions to improve your gut health as part of your EOE treatment. As I lay out in my book, really try to increase probiotics, prebiotics, and postbiotics. Also consuming natural healers like bone broth can be so fabulous for your overall health. Depending on your age and weight, it may also be really helpful to practice intermittent fasting around 12 hours to give your body a break from digestion. And this can also really help your body take the time to heal itself. Also cooking foods such as cooked vegetables versus raw vegetables may be really helpful because it decreases the amount of work that your digestive system has to do. 
you may find that the foods that once gave you problems are actually tolerable again. But it's also important to remember that many foods we become sensitive to are inflammatory in nature. So while you may be able to tolerate them, it's probably important to continue eating them in moderation. If you or a loved one is struggling with EOE, please feel free to reach out. This disease is really hard and scary, and I would love to help in any way that I can. I also have a free ebook that discusses what EOE is. If you are curious about learning more and you want to begin to discover how to heal yourself of this condition, remember you are not alone and there is hope.